you know, for global governance. Him and a bunch of other. We need to come together. And under that, his work entitled "The New World Order." His, I think it's either a book or a long essay. I mean, so the guy goes against 9/11 Truth, but he's pro New World Order. Gee, I wonder if he has an agenda. Thank you for the call, Dennis. I really appreciate it. Joe in New Mexico, you're on the air, sir. Hey, Jason. Uh, I was watching Fabled Enemies last night, and I just felt inspired. I had to call you. Oh, thank you. Probably a good day to do it. Um, I, I've been an Alex Jones off, off and on her for a few years and mm-hmm. kind of felt like there was something going on with 9-11. But I remember last year when I saw Fabled Enemies, you were the closer. And oh. uh, that's just a fantastic job that you did on that. And then just a couple, a quick comment on what's going on Prison Planet today. Just an awesome broadcast day, all day. And I have to disagree with a couple of callers. I really appreciate those callers. But the, the movement is happening. Momentum is happening. People are opening up. And I see big names coming to Alex to support him. It's just awesome what you guys are doing. You know, all. maybe Kevin Trudeau. Trudeau can be that you know that bridge that gap you know this guy is an, a, a guy who knows how to make his way into the mainstream media with unpopular belief systems with challenging the establishment hold over hold over uh joe we're gonna go back to you we're gonna go to steve sean marco and more it's the info warrior with jason Burmis. who knows maybe we can break through i'm not i'm not going down without a fight he said i was flight i talked about a little bit of flight but if you remember earlier in the broadcast i said i wanted to jump some jump on somebody and rip their throat out with my teeth I mean, I'm, I'm more fired up to fight it out. It's the Info Warrior. <laughs> All right, we are back. We got Joe in New Mexico still on the line. And you know what? That previous caller saying, you know, you're talking about some of the things that we've been able to do. You know, like I said, I, I truly believe that we would have had other terrorist attacks in this country on a high level if we had not exposed 9-11 for what it was. If Alex Jones wasn't out there ranting and raving and putting out, you know, the emergency release movie about 9-11 that he did, literally, I think, you know, a couple weeks after it had happened. And then on top of that, of course, road to tyranny. But, uh, you know, one of the one of the things that I can point to right away, Joe, that we were able to do is in the Give Act, Section 1710 had the Citizen Electronic Identification Act in there where they were going to, you know, try it out on middle and high school students for an electronic ID for everybody. And we were able to get that out of the bill. Some of the compulsory language was also taken out of the bill. So, you know, we, we well, do have small victories. Well, you got huge victories, and you'll never get the credit that you deserve. But I know you guys don't care about that because it, it will it will never go noticed what didn't happen because of your efforts. And with back to Trudeau, I didn't know that guy had this much information, inside information. What a wealth of knowledge that he is! And I just have to also make a comment real quick, and I'll let I'll, I'll let you go, Jason, because I know you've got a lot of callers, but. The way these things take off, you know, they, they gain a little bit of momentum, and then they go, like, viral, and they go exponential, and that's what's happening. I, I just, I, I see it, I feel it, I know it. You guys are just doing an awesome job. Well, thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate that. Let's go to Steve in New York. Steve, you're on the line. Hey, what's up, Jason? Uh, doing, just a quick, quick, quick point, I just want to BS a little bit. Uh, I saw yesterday driving down the road, a lot mm-hmm. of Infowars stickers on the stop signs. Mm-hmm. So if, if you don't mind, I just want to throw my email because sure. I pretty much lost all my friends over the past two years. So uh, <laughs> I just want to uh, s t e h o r t at hotmail dot com, and uh, that's pretty much it. And I also went to a wedding this weekend, mm-hmm. Obama deception, Bohemian Grove went out there totally. Awesome, so. awesome. And you know I do that at weddings like. too, and I'm, I got a wedding coming up on the fourth of July. And uh, it's actually on the day, and I, I know, Independence yeah. Day. I'm bringing a ton of movies, not just for the bride and groom, but uh, for all my friends and family that are going to be there as well. And that's the attitude we have to have. I thank you for the call. If people want to join up to my new uh, uh, YouTube page, you know, I gave it the website out once, and I got like 75 uh, friends. I just checked my email. Uh, subscribe. It's uh, Jason Justice 911 I'm going to be doing a lot of video blogging on that. A lot of it's going to make it to the Info Warrior site, but you know, some of it's not going to do that. It's going to have my, you know, afterthoughts after a show or perhaps, you know, previews of what's going to come up later. You know, obviously today when I did my blog, this Supreme Court uh, ruling that you have no Miranda rights. Basically, they can interrogate you without a lawyer. There's a lot of double speak in there, but five to four. Oh, five. It was so close. So close, give me a break. It's it's made to look like that. The outcome is already decided by the powers that be, and that's very unfortunate. Speaking of that, you know, Alex, I don't know if he touched on this, but uh, Bilderberg Group orders destruction of the U.S. dollar. 
Now, apparently, uh, even worse, a new U.S. report on the, these secret Bilderberg meeting states, investigative journalist Daniel Estelon, whose information from the inside Bilderberg has routinely proven accurate. And what are they saying? Uh, the Kremlin report on the shadowy Bilderberg group, who this past week had held their annual meeting in Greece, states that the West financial, political, and corporate elite emerged from their conclave after coming to an agreement that in order to continue their drive towards a new world order dominated by Western powers, the U.S. dollar has to be totally and completely destroyed. I mean, wow. And then it goes into, you know, all the people that are actually dumping the dollar, including Russia and Brazil and China. So, you know, is that what they talked about? More than likely. I mean, these reports, you know, usually end up being true, unfortunately. We're going to go to Sean, Marco, Steve, and others on the other side. Long segment. Uh, but there's some news I still haven't really even gotten to cover, folks. Uh, House panel advances global warming bill. You don't think you're paying a carbon tax? How many times do I have to tell you you're paying a carbon tax unless we... This is something we can win. We can stop this in its tracks. You know, I used to work in a barbecue pit. You think that barbecue pit's going to be around? It uses coal. Oh, no. Coal lets off CO2. We're all going to die. No. No more barbecues for anybody. No. You just had Memorial Day weekend. How many threw the lighter on the grill? You're out. Talk about the tax on that. You won't be able to afford it. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. We'll be back after this. PrisonPlanet.tv. Infowars.com. <laughs> 